Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at Barrio Bringing Order to Abstractive Summarization by authors from Yale University and Carnegie Mellon University. This paper focuses on the task of automatic abstractive text summarization, where the goal is to generate a summary for a given input article, shown in the example here. A typical approach to abstractive summarization is to train an encoder-decoder model to generate a summary in an autoregressive manner conditioned on the input article. The model is typically trained using maximum likelihood estimation, or MLE, which maximizes the predictive probability of a single reference summary on the dataset. Here we have an example reference and we're trying to compare the probability distribution generated for each token um, to that gold standard reference. So this is during training, but during inference, however, the model faces a different challenge. Instead of having to generate a single summary, it now needs to generate a set of candidate summaries and rank them to pick the best summary in overall. So this is a conflicting objective compared to during training. And what we observe is a phenomenon called, uh, known as exposure bias, where the model is being too focused on the ground truth data. Uh, and this is precisely the topic of the current paper that we're looking at today. In the current paper, the authors propose a novel training paradigm that is non-deterministic, meaning that it doesn't focus on maximizing the single probability distribution using MLE comparing to the reference summary, but instead their model or their paradigm is generating multiple summaries during tra training as well as during inference. And for each reference, uh, for each generated summary, a score is computed. And this score, the cumulative score from all the generated summaries is used to influence the update of the weights of the model. And this results in a more balanced training strategy, if you will. What the authors do in the paper is they compare three types of models. First type of model is the standard sequence sequence generation model trained using MLE. And here a typical model that is also used in the paper is BART, which is a model that has been pre-trained on a lot of documents and then has been fine-tuned on a dataset for summarization. They also, the authors also train a model trained on such a paradigm, which is generating multiple summaries and then computing an overall score across all of them. And they also have a model that is using a combination of MLE and this reference-free evaluation um, type of model um, jointly trained, the model is jointly trained on both using a linear in interpolation of this two loss functions, LMLE and LCTR as they're called in the paper. Moving on to some results, the main finding of the paper is that actually using this non-deterministic training is very effective and leads to improvements over the baseline systems such as BART, quite significant ones. So here we have BART and um, this is on the CNN Daily Mail dataset, which is a standard benchmark for obstructive summarization and summarization in general based on news articles. And what we see is that, um, first of all, the deterministic training already on its own is giving improvements over the baseline, resulting in higher root, root scores. And if you use the combination of deterministic and non-deterministic training, um, the standard MLE plus the new loss function, if you combine both of them, you're getting the best trade-off. And this is the same also in some other data sets, such as Exum and New York Times data set. So it seems that this new training paradigm is highly effective and also leads to output summaries which are more diverse. And this is evident, for example, from this table over here, where we see that if we take a look at BART model with uh, four beam search, it's not going to be able to improve when you increase the beam size. So if you go to 10 beam size of 10, 20, 50, and 100, um, you're basically getting a worse score because the model is generating more and more noise, which is leading to um, worse overall summary being produced in combination with all the distributions generated through the beam search algorithm. However, if you use the Brio MU, the multiple objective, what you're getting is higher score when you increase the beam number of beam sizes because 
So what this means is two things. First of all, during training, the model has learned indeed to uh, generate these diverse, uh, more diverse examples and combine them better. But also during inference over here, it seems that the model is able to more effectively pick. Uh, so when, when you generate each of the 100 summaries here, it's able to generate those independently more effectively such that the quality of the each individual summary is less affected and also the model is able to pick in the end the best summary out of them more effectively so in overall this is an interesting method that is general method that is applicable also to other sequence models and leads to some interesting properties for sequence modeling tasks and i'm curious how this could work for yeah exactly for other tasks like translation or question answering could be interesting to see if similar benefit might be observed as for summarization so that is all thanks for listening and i'll talk to you in the next one please like and subscribe